Okay, so I'm sure you guys must be wondering where I've been. Um, a lot of crazy things happened in the past month. Not even month, just in the past week. It's been pretty insane. Um, I probably shouldn't even be outside right now filming this. Um, so yeah, I'm sure everybody in the US at least, I'm sure everybody's heard about the Thomas fire. Um, yeah, that affected me pretty big. Uh, my house actually burned down, as you can see by the title of this video. Um, I had three things, maybe four, that I brought out. One being the tower to my computer, um, my mouse for my computer, my uh, keyboard. The things that I didn't bring were probably the most important things for my computer, like the monitors. Um, I didn't bring my mic, my headphones. I didn't have time to get any of those. Um, I had one pair of clothes. I now have a little bit more clothes, as you can see. Um, but other than that, all we got was our phones, chargers, I have my laptop, uh, the tower, I have my pets. Um, I mean, other than that, I don't really know what else to say. It's sort of like our, <laughs> I mean, our entire world has changed from this, this last week. Um, like, it's a pretty big, like, it, it's a pretty big thing to have a house burn and not really know how to deal with that because you've never had anything bad like that go on in your life. Um, I mean, obviously, I feel bad for people when stuff like that happens, but I could just never relate. I could never realize, like, hey, this is actually happening. Like, you don't have a house anymore. But now it's like, wow, <laughs> like, geez. Like, I actually understand the feeling because I just lost my house. Um, I just lost my home. It's It's gone. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm actually sitting out on the back patio right now. There's like tons of smoke in the air. Um, there's like waves over here. I'm at the beach at a hotel. Um, but yeah, this Thomas fire has been going on for a week now. And it's all the way in Carpinteria and like Santa Barbara and stuff. And I've got a lot of friends who evacuated to Santa Barbara. And I, you know, I'm worried about them. I'm worried about all my friends. Um, out of me, I think that I got in my friend group. I think there was like three others of us who lost, um, who lost their house as well, which isn't a big number out of all the friends. But even so, it's like, it, it's just really shocking to know like, <laughs> I don't have a house anymore. Like I'm pretty much I'm homeless right now. Um, I don't know, it's crazy to think about. Um, sorry, I know this is like <laughs> really like a down video and stuff. It's sort of sad and depressing. Um, my uh, The Starbucks that I work at has been trying to help me out. Um, I'm going to be getting more hours again. I haven't been working for about a week since the Thomas fire started. Um, I'm going to be getting hours. There's a cup fund that I can apply for and I can get money from them. Um... Yeah, I don't know. We're going to... Luckily, we had insurance for the house. Good insurance. Like, it wasn't... You know, we'll be able to get, you know, at least 60% of the money back. Um, we'll be rebuilding the house. So, you know. I don't know. I really don't know. It's, it's one of those times that you realize how important things are to you and how important your family is. Um, I'm just happy that my family made it out alive. We had... We had a few hours, um, we had a few hours to evacuate, but we didn't know that in the time. There was tons of smoke, there was red flames just right up on the hill, um, and the flames were there, they were like only black smoke, and then within the next five minutes there was just red smoke and you could like see flames on the back side of the hill. So we thought we only had like 10-15 minutes to get out of there. So I could have taken my monitors, and that's what I'm sort of mad about. <laughs> so I could have taken my monitors, I could have taken all my stuff, I could have taken my mic, my headphones, my second mic, I could have taken my second mouse, but I just didn't know. We didn't know that we had time. We lost, like, like everything in the fire. Literally everything. The only thing that any of us brought out. My grandma didn't even bring her clothes. She was in her nightgown when we came out. And then for the next three days, she had to stay in her nightgown because we didn't really have a, like, you know, we didn't even go to a store or something. Um, but, literally... <laughs> I mean, I, I brought my mon my uh, my tower out and uh, threw it in the car, and I'm like, okay, mom, I'm gonna go back and grab one more thing. 
she's like, what are you gonna go grab? And I ran off before she could even like say anything. Um, and I know this sounds fake, but I can assure you it's not. <laughs> like, I can promise you. Um, I'm just, I don't know how to like deal with it. Anyways, back to the story. Um, so I run back inside and I grabbed my monitors and I couldn't unhook it. Like I was trying to unhook it just to bring one of them. Cause you know, I wanted to be able to game cause I can't, I haven't played Overwatch in a week guys. I haven't played Fortnite. I haven't played anything in so long. It's insane. Um, so I grabbed my, uh, my monitors, you know, these two, what, like 20 pound monitors on this huge like stick and I'm carrying it out. And my mom just looks at me and she's like, what the, and yes, she may have cussed or she might not have, I might just be adding that, you know, um, and she's like, put those back inside, like run back inside right now, put those out. I'm like, why? Like, I want to take my monitors. These things are like $800. Like, yeah, I don't know. It was the one time where I just instantly listened to my mom and I just ran back inside and put them back in. Um, and I really regret putting them back inside because like, if I hadn't, I still would have my monitors and I would actually be able to play video games. I'd be able to upload to YouTube. Um, but right now this computer, my laptop just isn't fast enough to upload. Um, I can't game on it. I can't, you know, I, I can't, I don't have good video quality. I don't have anything. This is the one thing that I actually have a good quality is the, um, the face cam and the, the recording for that. Uh, but other than that, it's just really bad quality. Um, so yeah, the first few days of losing the house was pretty tough. Um, the first day we weren't sure that it burnt. We weren't positive. Um, then they showed our neighborhood on TV. And when they showed our neighborhood on TV, it was like, oh. <laughs> it was like, okay. <laughs> Everything was burnt. It was just, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, I don't really know. Uh, people handle stuff in different ways. I'm trying to stay positive, stay happy, focus on the things that I love. Um, one good thing about this, it's brought me and my friends closer. Um, you know, my friends my friends are really there for me. They're really, uh, really supportive. They're texting me every day, which they didn't normally do. They wouldn't ever text me every day and say, hey, how are you? Like, what's going on? Are you okay? Are you, how are you doing? Um, they didn't normally do that, but now, now they're like, you know, talking to me. They're saying, hey, what's up? How are you? Um, and that's, you know, that's probably the one good thing about this entire thing. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any, like, you know, money to spare, I would say go donate it to a fire cause because there are lots of people out there, unlike me and my family, who don't have any money. Um, and luckily for us, we had good fire insurance, so we can be, we can, we'll have our house back, but other people won't be so lucky. Um, for other people, the thing in their house, that was all that they owned. They didn't have any other money. That was their house. That was their the only thing that they had. Um, so talk to your parents. Maybe go donate to a fund. Um, I know there are some pretty good ones out there. Like There's like Red Cross. They can, um, they've been helping out people at the fairgrounds here. Um, and yeah, because I know, I know a lot of people who, they just don't have any money. And I'm so, so thankful that that I'm not one of those people and that I'm actually going to be able to um, we're going to be able to rebuild our house and everything like that so yeah sorry if this was like a really down video or anything but um, yeah it's a pretty big thing to go through um, I'll try and you know I'll try and make more videos soon um, my friend is actually going to be giving me one of his monitors which I'm so thankful for like he's my best friend ever um, I've been friends with him for like five years now, <laughs> so he's going to be giving me one of his monitors, so I might be able to um, upload and stuff. Um, I don't really have a like a place to set up my computer right now, because um, you know we're staying in a hotel and it's like a one bedroom. My grandma's here, my dad's here, but yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to go. You know, go try and find a way to help out. Um, and if you live in the area of the Thomas Fire, uh, I hope that you guys are okay. I hope that you're safe. Um, and if you don't, try and find a way to support. Maybe donate some blankets, donate some extra clothes, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching.